They studied at a private for-profit college hoping to get careers in a growing medical field. But Minnesota's Attorney General says students at a now-defunct Twin Cities College were left with a mountain of debt. Anthem College, formerly called High Tech Institute, would enroll hundreds of students each year. But after it came under investigation by the U.S. Senate, it closed up shop two years ago, leaving students with lots of debt and nothing to show for it. Bill Hudson joins us now with more on this. Hi, Bill. Starting to sound like a yeah. broken record, you guys. Absolutely. Tuition was anywhere from twenty-six to forty thousand dollars for a degree program to become an X-ray technician. The school promised high-paying jobs out of school and credits that would transfer. Well, today Anthem is bankrupt, leaving many students holding expensive student loans. When Anthem College locked the doors to its St. Louis Park campus, more than a faded sign was left behind. Students soon discovered worthless degrees and mountains of debt. And it was probably about 25,000. Amber Mandich, a single parent, is one of those students. She pursued a two-year degree as an x-ray tech at Anthem, but when she went to pursue her bachelor's, she found out the schooling fell short. A lot of the schools that I've looked into trying to get my bachelor's degree won't take any of the credits. Just as Amber was graduating, the U.S. Senate cited an internal school memo that targeted students with little support systems, disadvantaged in low self-esteem. The school misrepresented many things to them. Attorney General Lori Swanson says its graduates weren't qualified to be radiological technologists or even work in hospitals. The school offered an x-ray operator degree, but it wasn't the normal degree that you would have to become an x-ray operator in hospitals. And students didn't know that. They thought that they were getting a, a degree that would lead to gainful employment. Because Anthem went bankrupt, the state can't sue for restitution. Institution. Instead, Swanson hopes to use a federal law to ease the student's debt burden. For 20 years, federal law has allowed this kind of process where in this exact kind of case where a school has misled students and incurred, uh, caused them to take out student loans through fraud, that their student loans may be forgiven. I feel like just kind of everything that they told us we're not able to really do now that we're graduated. Now, of course, those student loans were backed by the federal government. It's the same law used in a similar fraud case against Corinthian College last year. I think in that case they had to pay off almost $500 million wow. in back student loans. All right. Now, does the government have to prove that fraud was behind those loans? Well, they do, and in fact, they already have, Amelia. The, uh, in fact, the U.S. Senate's investigation several years ago used the Government Accountability Office, which found recruiters were engaging in manipulating the financial aid process. So oh. if they could do do the same thing here. Obviously, it's a no-brainer. They're yeah. going to try to get money back for those students. Yeah. All mm -hmm. right. Thank you, Bill. You bet.